Okay, so uh, hold on, just say it's October the 13th, uh, 2023, and it's 8 13 a.m. And I met you what 45 seconds ago? Yes, my name's Ricky Stokes, and your name is I can't tell you all that. who's this going to? No, this is Tedrian Hollis. I right, spell your first name, Tedrian. T E A D R I A N. All right, and may I have a contact phone number? Yes, but I don't want everybody to know that. Everybody won't have it. Okay, I'll give it to you. Okay. Phone number 334-405-4826. All right, you're going to talk a little loud because of the traffic. 334-405-4826. Okay, I just came into the office of A Advantage Bonding and uh, my agent, Dylan Quattlebaum, told me of some things that went on last night. Would you tell me what happened? Well, I called this, um, I thought I was calling with A Advantage Bonding and I called another company. And when I caught that company, they tried to pretend like they were this company that I had dealt with earlier in the day. I didn't appreciate that this person tried to lie and pretend like I was this company and I wasn't. And they literally tried to like get over and get money and like, not do what they, I don't know. It was very shady. That person followed me from that place over here. From their bonding? From their bonding okay. company now, over let here. Me, let me get a couple things straight. I'm A Advantage Bonding, and you're talking about you thought you were calling A Advantage Bonding, but you actually got A Ability Bonding. Right. Okay. And then so he told me, like, talk to me as if, led me to believe I was talking to the same company. And I kept saying, I dealt with you this morning, what, what have you. So he said, okay, well, just meet me at the office. I come to the office and I'm sitting here, just sitting here and I'm noticing, okay, he's not here. And he calls and says, uh, where are you? And I'm like, I'm sitting in the parking lot. And he's like, I am too. And I'm like, no, you're not. He's like, I, I'm like, well, where are you? He kept saying, at the back of the jail, on the side of the jail, on the side of the jail. And I'm like, I am on the side of the jail. And then something told me to just go on the other side, and I did. So I saw a car there, I parked. So I go in there, and this person tries to tell me. I said, okay, well, um, I got 400 in cash, and I got 100 on a card, but I gotta go to work. So if I give you all of that, that means we have no gas money to go to Enterprise where we work at. So they just kept pressure and pressure. Come on, we got them ready to go and all this. So I came and I was like, okay, here go to 400, but you gotta give me a receipt. And it was like, no, we don't give receipts until after we get them out. I said, I'm not gonna get, hand you no cash and you don't give me a receipt. I don't know what kind of slow person you think I am, but I'm not that. So he was just persistent. And then, so when it, when he wouldn't do what I asked him to do, to wait, I got up and I walked out. And so he followed me out there. And then I, I come over here and I look, and I look over and here he comes. Then followed me to see where I'm at. And then told, went down to the jail, I mean, called down to the jail and told, told my old man that I wouldn't pay to get him out. Uh, do you know who that was? I don't know who he was, but he was some little Ron Isley looking dude. He had on a polo, like polo down with big chains. And I'm like, you're not finna take my money and buy no polo tonight. Was he white or black? He was a black man. You remember what kind of car he had out of A-Ability Bond? It was like a um, a, a black sedan. I ain't trying to call out nobody business because yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like that, because I don't want nobody calling mine. I'm a small business owner too. But you know what I'm saying? But you don't want them saying that somebody that they're not. Yeah, I don't want them saying that they're nobody they're not. If we if we gonna do business, we're gonna do it right. When I do business, I do it right or I don't do it at all. So I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. But he led you to believe he was with A Advantage Bonding. Yes, he led me to believe it until I, I went over there and I was like, even when I was there, I was like, no, nah, you ain't the same person. Why did you? And then I called him out on it. I was like, why did you make me feel like you was who the, the people that I talked to earlier? I said, because you never said, and I kept telling you that, yeah, we did the, the um, bond. We bonded out earlier that morning with the, with the county. Now we need you for the city. But see, now I'm mad because you try to scam me and I don't like that. All right. Is this the first time I've heard this story? Yes, you just came to wake me. I'm like, 
waiting on my guy to get a haircut and you just walked and woke me up like but you know our car has been sitting here for a minute so which is right across the street from right a advantage the street from a advantage because we went to go see um what's your name mr dylan this morning and then he went to go get a haircut so i came crashed in the car all right so so that i've got this straight and all i didn't ask you any questions before i started the video no you just kind of just came up and said hey can you say say what you told dylan or whatever okay and it's just the truth and i don't care white black purple puppet do right thank you